on the road again. Now I am, I just left my parents' place and I'm uh, going to my brother's place now. That is on the other side of Yulan. So I got a little bit of a drive ahead of me and uh, in a moment I'm gonna drive on a piece of road. It's a very nice piece of road right next to the sea. So uh, I thought you should see that. I'm on the outskirts of Stroh right now and the road between Stroh and Vinorb is a very nice looking road. Also road that carries a bit of memories of an area from when I was a kid. Here to the left of me is uh, the beach and as I say that was an area where we would go swim when I was a kid, go play and there were also some, always some boats, um, some small uh, motor boats out there and we would climb up into the boats and sit and talk, you know, kids. They have a lot of things to talk about, our young teenagers, and we would sit there and discuss important issues. <laughs> that was just one of the places where I lived while I was a kid. Yeah, we just passed a sign saying YAM. H-J-E-R-M. Um, I lived in that town what was it? First I lived there with my mom and dad. And then later on I lived in another place in Yam. In a room I rented while I was trainee to become a baker. And then I moved to a house that I bought in together with my brother. And then I moved away from the town for a while. And then I moved back to Yam. To live in a friend's house. Four different times in four different places. In the same town. And it's just a small well, village. Driving into the small town Vinov. I have lived in this town as well. When I was, yeah, actually from I started school until fourth grade, we lived in this town. And my parents had a shop here, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. I lived in Stroh, I lived in Yam, and now we are in Vinorb, where I also have lived when I was a kid. And you see all the zigzagging. <laughs> All the speed reducing uh, installations here in town. We talked about that before that uh, in Denmark they do a lot to make people slow down. And actually here in on the left side we pass right where the car was parked is uh, the place my parents had their shop. years ago. That was Winnerup. We almost through the town now. Getting to the city limit here. And you see the sign, the white sign with the name of the town and a red line across. Means that's it. Out of town. So, driving into Skive. And Skive is another town where I have lived. Actually, I have lived two different places in Skive. That was when I was uh, four or five years old. My parents was working in a shop in this town, in Skive. And at first we lived in an apartment above the shop. And later on they bought a house here. But we only stayed I think it was two years in Skive. And then they moved to Vinorb and opened their own shop instead of being employees. And in Vinorb, Vinorb we actually lived for six years. 
in my childhood, six years in one place, that was a long time. <laughs> and I guess it still is. Six years is actually the longest I ever lived in one place. It's happened a couple of times. But yeah, Skew is a little bit bigger than than the previous towns we passed through. Also a nice place. I remember from my childhood, there's a, there's a place here in Skive where they roast coffee beans. And I just remember the smell of, of newly roasted coffee beans. That's one of my childhood smells. Well, that was Skive. Talk to you later. I thought I wanted to show you this, the drive from here and actually almost to where my brother lived. It's very beautiful, right next to the fjord. It's very, very nice. As you know, I love the water and this is just wonderful. It could look like they're working on making a bicycle lane here next to the road. Arriving at my brother's place. Well, the car is home, so I guess so is he. We didn't agree about I should come, but not about when. Oh well. See you in a moment. This morning I'm going for a drive my, with my brother on small motorcycles or mopeds. You see the moped here? That's the one I'm going to drive. A small Yamaha Pasola, it's called. It's uh, in here, my brother is getting ready. This is his. This little I make you. This is his moped, and over here, actually, my brother. <laughs> this is Kim. We go outside because he start the compressor. As you can see, the moped my brother is gonna drive is a very nice specimen. Uh, how old is it, Kim? It's six and a half years. Nineteen. Fizzy. Oh, the Fizzy. Oh, FSZ. FS1. From 19... What do you say? Six and a half years. 76. 1976. Yamaha 50cc. FS1. It's very, very nice specimen. It's just mint condition. So, and I'm gonna drive this old thing from 80. That's like a, a lady's moped, you know, with the shopping basket and all. This is gonna be neat. I'm gonna look like an elephant on an ant. I think I need to put it on the center stand to start it. Oh! <laughs> and it's running. That is neat. I don't know how this recording is going to be. Well, let's try.
Let's have a look at this very beautiful looking Mofit. When my brother bought it, it was not very nice looking. It was, and then he, uh, he's been fixing it and now it's, as I said, mint condition. It really is. It's a very nice looking moment. And uh, my brother is a collector. Well, <laughs> you can say that. Um, and this is one of the things he collects, that's old Moffitt's. I'm trying to shield for the wind with my hand, that's why my hand, uh, my fingers go in front of the camera every now and then. But anyway, that is your masterpiece. Uh, that's, that's his pride and joy. <laughs> and uh, well, the other one, the one I was driving over here, is, um, well, in the beginning you made it for your wife, right? Ah, okay, he got another one he made for his wife, but the wife is not all that keen on driving, uh, driving mopeds, so, uh, well, but he likes fixing up these kind of things and uh, doing a good job of it. Yeah. This, this one here is... It's actually never been restored, it's completely original. So, uh, that is actually impressive. <laughs> this here is my brother's garage, uh, where he fixed the mopeds. You see over here, he got another one like the one I was driving, a Pazola. It's a project. And over here is the yellow one my brother was driving. And behind that one is a red one, similar. Yeah, from 78. So, uh, also a little bit of a project, almost finished. And then, <coughs> actually here, that is his son's motorcycle. It's a 500cc Suzuki. And then he got a lot of parts. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of his hobbies. As I say, my brother is a collector. And uh, he also have over here another one of his small things. Model cars from the Danish company, or old Danish company called Techno. Uh, and he uh, restore them old cars and make them look nice and yeah so but a real man cave this is <laughs> and what would you uh, watching porn on the computer <laughs> that's why you needed the big monitor so Get it. <laughs> oh well, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you for a nice trip. Talk to you guys later. That was it for visiting my brother. That was a nice, a nice evening and and morning. Hadn't seen my brother for a while, so it was it was nice getting to talk to him and our little drive. But anyway, I think that's gonna wrap up that video. So now I'm on my way back to Sealand to pick up the nest at my workplace. And uh, I haven't heard anything from my boss, so I still don't know if it got any problems after the storm and as you know life is good you all take care and happy new year bye bye